Hello, today we have here the lovely Noreen who is going to illustrate how easy it is to disassemble the Panasonic Ultra Pro commercial vacuums and do simple maintenance like change the brush roll or the belt as well as take off the bottom plate if you have clogs and the hose so you can access those clogs on the back. This particular model is the MCGG213. It is the uh, baby of the Ultra Pro family. But either way, all of the maintenance is pretty much the same. So I'm going to have Noreen go ahead and turn that machine upside down so she can access the bottom plate. Now, the bottom plate is plastic as well as the brush roll is wood. On some of the models, it's going to be metal, but the process is still the same. Right here in the middle, we actually have two uh, flaps. Squeeze those together. And then there are two flaps there on the end by her thumbs that you push in and you're able to pop the bottom plate off. Now, as you can see, everything's pretty much exposed. We have the belt over here on the left side and the hose on the right. The belt goes around the motor shaft, which um, obviously could be really hot if you just turn the vacuum off, so be careful about that, too. Um, so we're going to have her show you how easy it is to take the belt and the brush roll out. I always advise using the right side uh, as a kind of a lever because the belt will be tight, especially when you put on a new one. So that's pretty easy to remove. Over here, the hose fits in a little ridge that's just simply popped out, and uh, you can slide it out the back over here. Now you have the base plate free and clear. On the right side, there's a little white um, tab that you can pull out, pop out, whatever word you want to use there. And then it enables you to be able to slide off the other side here over the motor and now you have the base plate off so you can use that to clean or, or wash or whatever you need to do if you've got a pretty clogged dirty machine putting back on is just as easy slide it in the motor side first line everything up sometimes it helps to do this when you're sitting down just because the vacuum itself can move around and cause a little bit of instability Noreen did it pretty quickly though great job slide the hose back inside and then uh, pop that right there into the ridge now the brush roll is a little bit more difficult to put back on than it is to take off because of the tightness of the belt. I always advise you guys to put it on first down on the motor and then stick the brush roll through the open end. And then uh, using two hands, it, it still is easy, but it is going to be a tight belt. So you want to try to fit these into the ridges if you need to. Again, use the right side is kind of a lever to balance yourself so the brush roll doesn't snap in your face. Noreen did a great job there. On the front lip you're gonna see there are some edges right here. These right here will help you align your base plate when you put it back together. And just like you took it off, it's simply lining that up, snapping in the back of it, and then squeezing the two buttons together at the front. There those are right there. And you now have a fully functional Panasonic Ultra Pro Vacuum, and that's how simple it is. Thank you, Noreen.